everyone, so welcome to Daily Dose of Beauty. Today I am going to be filling in for Emma. It is Wednesday, she wasn't able to upload. Today I am going to be sharing with you my skincare routine for the fall time, kind of my favorite go-to skincare products. I decided to share this with you because lately my skin has just been doing whatever it wants. It's been going crazy, it's been breaking out, I have a lot of pigmentation, I've been having really dry skin, so I thought I would share with you what I do for my skin when it decides to act crazy. First, and probably my favorite thing to do in the fall time, is really give my skin a good cleansing scrub. In the shower, I like to use for my all over body a um, deep clean invigorating foaming scrub from Neutrogena. My favorite part about this is the scent. It's very minty. It really wakes you up if you use it at night or in the morning. And I like to use it with a mitt or glove to apply it. I feel like it even boosts the scrub that you get from it. My favorite facial scrub has been the St. Ives Fresh Skin Apricot Scrub. This stuff is amazing. I did a first impression slash review on it on my personal channel if you would like to check that out. I will have it linked in the down bar. I really like this. It comes in this mini bottle or you can buy the larger. I have both because I like it so much. Um, and I really like to use scrubs because I feel like it really gets into my skin, gets the dead skin away. And after I scrub my face, I will apply at night only the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. This is a lotion. It's very wet. It doesn't have a lot of scent. But I only like to use it at night because it is a thicker kind of lotion. It's very moisturizing though. That's why I like it. You can purchase it at Nordstrom. That's where I got mine. And then you can also find it at a Kiehl's store if your mall is fairly large. And then it also will be sold online. You can probably pick it up at like Ulta or even probably Amazon. For my body, however, after I shower, I like to apply the Pacifica Indian Coconut Nectar Body Butter. Let's just take a moment. I wish that you could smell this through a camera because this stuff smells amazing it's like oh it's like holiday in a bottle it's really vanilla-y if you don't like vanilla it's not your scent but you can purchase it at Target I like to mostly kind of concentrate it on my legs and my arms especially my elbows they get really dry during the fall and this is a great way to moisturize them and make them not so dry and gross looking if you're not a fan of fully cleansing your face every night and morning, I recommend a toner versus a towelette cleanser type thing. My favorite uh, toner currently is from Simple, the Sensitive Skin Experts. This is a soothing facial toner and it says it's kind to skin, has vitamin goodness in it, 100% alcohol free. So if you are sensitive to many different products, the Simple line or cosmetic products are a great um, just all over product to use. I really like the toner and I like to apply it with a little teeny cotton pad and it really gets just dirt off your face if you're feeling gross. Um, and I love it so much because it does not break me out because I do have sensitive skin. Next, again, I like to moisturize and scrub. So my favorite uh, lip scrub is from Lush. This is the scent Mint Juleps and this is a lip scrub again. I love this. It smells so amazing. What you do is you apply it with your finger to your lips. You scrub your lips. It really just kind of fixes those awful chapped lips that you have during the fall time. Then you can lick it off and it tastes amazing just like it smells. And then after I apply the lip scrub, I like to apply a butter from Mox Botanicals in pomegranate and fig. I purchased this from Birchbox online. I tried a trial size of it through Birchbox. Loved it so much that I bought it online. Oh, again, smells amazing. There is nothing to say about this except amazingness. Lastly, 
I'm going to show you my favorite foundation. This is the Nearly Naked foundation from Revlon. I used this last, maybe like towards the beginning end of winter, like the ending of winter, beginning of spring, I guess you could say. I had used the Revlon Color Stay foundation for a long time, but it was too cakey and heavy for me. And then I switched to a BB cream, and that just kind of slid off too easily in school. And now that my face has started to break out more, has become more dry, after all of these products, after moisturizing and scrubbing, I like to follow up with my favorite foundation. It really just covers you up. It stays on a good probably more than half of my school day but I do tend to sit like this on my desk and all this other craziness so it kind of does rub off for me during school but not like a BB cream does and it just doesn't look cakey which is what I don't like about the Revlon color stay so I hope you guys enjoyed watching don't forget to head over to my personal channel check out all of my videos my latest video was a tutorial on how to make spicy hot chocolate, which let me just tell you, I love. Um, I hope you follow me on Twitter, Pinterest, Instagram. I'll have everything linked in the down bar and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.